Okay, so I think we're more or less good to go. Hey everybody, how's it going? Great. I am playing Red Dead Redemption Uno in anticipation of the upcoming port for Red Dead Redemption 2. I've heard some very good things about the second game. Uh, I have a friend by the name of Marissa who is particularly fanatical about it on uh, on Twitter. So I'm kind of curious. And I'm not really caught up on a lot of the Rockstar games. Like, I, I haven't really played any of the Grand Theft Auto games uh, since San Andreas. You know, I might run over some people at a party if it's on the television, but other than that, I haven't really spent any time with 4 or 5. I was a really big fan of the Max Payne series. Uh, yeah. You know, I know that they have a pretty good track record. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm very curious about this. This is one of those games that I always was interested in, but since I didn't have a console, I kind of deliberately gave it a miss. So yeah, let's, let's start digging into this. My understanding is that the first game is good, but has some issues. I recall there being some pretty jam happening with like coyotes spawning as horses or something like that I don't remember the exact details but there was definitely some bugs hopefully since I'm coming to this as late as I am we won't be running into too much of that but I guess we'll have to wait and see Oh, uh, before I get started, though, there's something that I uh, need to take care of real quick. So uh, I'm just going to duck out for a second. Okay, I know it's here somewhere. Let me... There. Uh, leave it here? I left it here. Let me check. Uh, it might be under there. No. Dang. Can't remember uh remember where I put it, but Oh no wait, I found it. Here here we go. Let me Yeah. Hey, it still fits. Nice. Okay. No. Alright. And that's good, so let me just on back. Yeah. Now we're talking. All right, what do you say we giddy on up and uh, see what this game has to offer? So I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. All right. Some issues getting everything set up, but I think the worst is over. Although, I'm thinking I'm going to start a new game because there was a cutscene that I blew through when I was getting this thing set up. So love that. The loading screens on this are uh, intense. Not wild about that.
fun. Oh, no, this is it. Okay, we're good. Wow, everybody's excited to see me. Oh, no, that's... Marston, I think his name is. He's got kind of a Wolverine thing going on. Damn. Bad. Who are these two gentlemen I'm in the company of? I get the impression that I am not keeping their company voluntarily. Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. <laughs> Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. They're uh, leaning into the whole past and present. Apparently, Mr. Johns hard. wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. 
Yes, Jenny, it, what? it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Okay. Well, that was not what I would describe as the best writing. It came off as pretty preachy, frankly. So. Hey, Ty, how you doing, buddy? Thank you very much. I got, yeah, I figured I needed a uh, jaunty chapeau, which was appropriate. This is really... This guy right here is super sensitive. I wonder if there's anything I can... Okay. See anything for that on controls? I'll worry about it later. Lip on your map indicates a mission objective. Oh, I'm doing okay. A little frustrated. I haven't been able to stream uh, for a couple of reasons, but uh, I think I'm mostly good and on the other side of them. I have a technical thing that I need to take care of, but the worst is over now, fortunately. Hello. Evening. Get your newspaper. Find out. I guess I can't interact with you. Oh, I'm just happy to be streaming again. Read all about it. Hey, thanks for the follow. Partner. Get your news here. We can all take the stage to Blackwater. Don't stay out too late. It's fine weather we have it. We live in time of great things. Most of them are not available. Well, I guess we'll just go through the motions for now. What all this fuss is about. Sometimes. I'm Chick. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. All right, let's horse it up. Time for some horsing around. I gotta say though, graphically, I'm not blown away. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. I heard someone bag that giant mountain lion. I ain't much of a fellow for gossip. If you say so. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rush. Whoa there. Let's go. Like, it's not hideous, and there's obviously some nice work here. But it's kind of a. Bring your horse and faster tap pack. Looking for an old friend. 
Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Know what you do find about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Okay, I really don't like this thing that it's doing where it's giving me instructions while having dialogue happening. Are you planning this on is spending like... any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those Gross. girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> like, the clouds are real pretty. I like that. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. I'm kind of a grouch. You ain't very talkative, if... are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good meat! We're almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Gee up. Whoa there. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> well, that's not weird. Okay, one thing I want to do is... Approach Fort Mercer, nice and easy. No funny business. Let's go. This is not fun to control so far. Okay. Got. Let's go. There we go. All right. This X looks promising. Well, there's a fire, so Bill. somebody's got to be here. Bill, I've come for you. Bill Williamson, come out here right now. Go away now, John. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed... To save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. 
Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Implored. I... I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Poor Jim. Well, R.I.P. That was a short run. the fort are none too observant, I reckon. Not entirely sure what Marston's plan was there. Man, these loading screens real old real fast. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was, oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss. Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you. For saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right. Hello. Let's jump. What that says. And we got ourselves a peeper all locked up. Alright, 
this, this skipping is kind of undercutting his fearsomeness. game is gonna be you know, a lot of options here so let's just this mayor blue dot mr marston back in the land of the living i see <laughs> figured it's about time i started paying back that 15 dollars well no time to waste the horses are saddled up over here good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now miss McFarland how do you do sir I picked out a fine horse for you all right come on then Ooh, I'll show you around the property again General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Yeah! That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Whoa! He seems kind of mean, to be honest. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Here and I here am. we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Here I am, gut shot. Trying to help an old friend getting accused of horse stealing. Come and on, being this is the only chance you're gonna get bad rest. change. Judge of that. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <laughs> that run is amazing. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. 
Listen, you're not the boss of me. I'll get myself shot as much as I want. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Square, I thought. <laughs> All right, take two. Maybe I have to like be at a full stop. I can already tell that rabbit is good. Come on, then. Time to put that blood lust of yours to good use. Oh. Take that, you little thing. All right, it's back. L2. Yeah, there is no way I'm shooting 53 rabbits. Like, uh, let's get going. We've uh, still got plenty of ground to cover. I'm sorry, I absolutely have to. Unless it's gonna like make me do that right now. If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Okay, I didn't know that was an option. Uh, sorry, horse. I don't feel great about that. And all right, well. We should keep moving. There's still a way to go. Yeah. If only the rabbits were the worst of our problems. Well. From my experience, a rancher's work is never done. Damn coyotes are bad! We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston! Come on! They're heading for the chicken coop! Come on! Giddy up. thought I saw one over here, but I guess not. I don't know what the dead I am either thing is. Yeah.
I'm not super clear on how the snapping was working. But... I've certainly played games with work controls. Fine work. Glad to be of assistance. Mm. But I know you ain't doing all this purely out of the goodness of your heart. I think my father and the marshal will be able to help you. I'd sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. I just really hate coyotes. This is you, Mr. Marston. Marston makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. I will see you anon. All right, good to know. Gunsmiths around the territory. Oh, no, nah, I guess we're not going to read that. Some people even deal in valuable information about the surroundings in the form of maps or newspapers. This is Marston's typical bit. Hunter clothing. Okay. Right. Got quite a few undiscovered ones. Well, she used to be a blue dot, but now she's a bee. Bonnie bee. Blue Bonnie bee. I feel like a baby. Trying to make, oh, make my Mr. way Marston. in the world. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Well, I'm about to lose, her, lose some money. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. 
actually rode horses a little bit more. Yeah. Like, I never owned a horse. Got, got taken out. I had a friend do Come on. Into it. So race start over here. Buddy. Yeah, because like my instinct is like a hammer in that button. Right? <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best. Mr. Marston. All right, Marshall Johnson is available to talk to you in a pillow trouble him. That's a little bit of a commute. Interesting.
Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. What exactly are you waiting for? I don't know. I thought it was. If you don't to... mind, I'd really like to get moving. Maybe I'm supposed to get in the back. But it wants me over here? Yeah. Let's just go. I, I don't want to keep Paul waiting. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. Can we try to stay on the road? So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Dialogue is extremely amazing. They're doing a decent job of... Uh... Capturing that old time. I think it's kind of funny. I found you dying on the side of the road, and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. Farland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. I mean, this is super. I'm pretty sure isn't he actually a bounty hunter, so that's probably why he... Someone don't like me much. He never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Like, so far, the dialogue is mostly, you want to talk about why you're here? And he's like, no. Like, you're very mysterious. And he's like, I am. And then sort of repeat that back and forth in between explaining where the trial is. The 
whole town needs my expertise today. I mean, it's written confidently, but I would say that there's not much in the way of smoothness or subtlety to it thus far. I recommend anyway. Howdy, friend. You need something for that gout? Hola. I hope that helps. Odd fellow's rest. It, it could be open for business once more. The way things are. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself and that liver. All right, that's probably useful to know. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. your problem, partner. Gonna have a bummer. I wanted to be able to interact with some of these people. But doesn't seem to be an option thus far. That seems useful. I see an X one exclamation point over there. Maybe we should check that. How many money? I'm going to hold off on the horse stealing until I have a better idea. Climb on okay, board. so... A fine day, I see. Maybe later. Hello there. Howdy, mister. I know this is there This. all the rails go these days to drop off. That mountain you are going to get too in trouble. I haven't said anything yet. Southwestern Railroad Company is just a front for the Jews to run the country, you know? All right, well, I guess we'll have to see if we can kill this guy. You know, if Johns is elected governor, he's going to open the rail lines to Allende. Here's what I think about your railways. Hardner. It's about this blue, so seems to indicate it is of some import. Of time. But probably good to know. Just need to remember that that's there and then we'll visit it later. I'm guessing it's not going to be a hot idea to try playing poker down. Guns, man. And a little chatting, though. Please 
feel free to browse my selection. Dear sir, hello. Nope, we can't put no price on safety. Thank you kindly. So that's not like info info, that's info on the items. Here's the dock. Political realities in Armadillo. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You that one of them Williamson boys? Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dick. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here, doing what I can. Why, what's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. Okay, I guess I can't do the follow thing like I do with the horses so on him. A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. 
goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. What's going on? There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. He looks like a fun guy. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Can't lose that trail, boy. Catch up with me when you can. Let's go. All right. Not kill Walton. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. That law is easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. so we can get a better look. Looks like we got company, boys. Oh, boy. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. Behind the crate, Marston. Smoke him up. Stop shooting at me. Let her roll. Make your choice. You're outnumbered, I don't know Marshall. How to... Are you gonna help me here? I don't know how to take cover. How do I take cover? Oh God. <laughs> That was simple. Did I miss a? Did I miss a command? I didn't see the button. I I don't know. Like, move up to that wagon on your right. I'll move up to the you. wagon. Press R one. Okay, didn't see that. Let's try that again. Arson, take that bastard behind the crate. R one. You ain't taking me alive. Not a great shot. Uh, uh, There's gonna be a lot of graves, Doug. Head for the crate, boy. I'll cover you. Take that feller behind the rock, boy. You ain't getting All away right. this time. You should have stayed in Armadillo, Marshal. Blast you. Boom, a headshot. Left or right to a hill to cover me. Good. Not now move up to the outhouse, Marston. All right, outhouse, outhouse, outhouse. Go this way. I wonder if there's like a way to do this faster. Come on, so Marston. I can't take them all. I am trying. Get off my case. Take him alive! 
Uh, all right, shooting on the legs. Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Good. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check Not a good one. Next time you're in town. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Come on. rich okay interesting honor drifter already completed five percent of the game Five point eight. Crushing it. Marshall has left you a long way for civilization. You can quickly travel back to town using the destination feature of your camp. Natural with where and Might as well do a little bit of looting as long as we're here. I see. Some cash out of this guy. There we go. All right, let's see. Mostly money so far. Trouble? Not. I don't know if there's like, crafting and such in there. I don't remember. Oh, I, yeah, I do. There we go. Whoa, horsey. I'm gonna name you Horsey. Let's go. I can't keep pace with that guy. I think it's only people you're friends with. Bring the town. Pass this guy. Oh. I guess I need to hitch. Sure, how to Tim O'Ron is said to have run off with an Indian. Can I just hitch anywhere or? That works. Stay away from my horse. I will kill you. 
don't think I have enough to rent that place. Is there like an objectives? Oh, that's useful. Dear okay, sir, hello. You surely won't down. regret a purchase. That is something. I'm here. Jeb Murphy got some new guns. Yeah. Go hey, I think I'll hold off for now. I, I like to save my money up a little bit when I'm starting a game. How do you do? Because at this point, I don't really know what matters to me. Doesn't. Seem to have inspired much of a reaction from the sheriff. Hello, hello. It's Armadillo Seven Three One. What is it with these things? Hello. It's a new line. Hello, hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. out for the bollards. 
Well, unless they're cacti, I think we're good so far. All right, Stop. leave the horses here and follow me. Let's move up the canyon towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. We're going to try to play this game mostly non-lethally, but... That might be a little Look bit out. tricky. Push the guard. Gun him down. Are you gonna shoot any of these rustlers, boy? I'm pretty sure that was a good shot. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this. Oh, okay. When the dot is faded down. Best time to that, ring, but... boy. You boys take the left fork. I'm going this way. Marston, you can tag along with me or join the deputies. Tag along with this guy. I don't like the thought of him. Stop falling behind. Now, we gotta push solo. forward. Fine. Good later. Nice of you to give an old man a hand. Which rock? Yeah. That'll do it. Come on, let's keep moving. Well, there were two. That looks oh like two. Like they've got a little run. Come on, the deputies are making some ground over there. Friend, you got a yellow streak of mine. Come on! Bitches. Nice. Help me out here, will you? All right, let's move down and take those bastards in the camp. I can see you. Put down your guns and surrender. I think I'm gonna make it through. Come on, stop lagging behind. I'm okay, giving you one last chance to, uh, to put your hands uh, in the air. So much for cover. I keep mixing up the circle button and the gotta stay down so I'm wondering if maybe the the non-lethal thing only applies to like the, the ring leader. I 
I doubt you'll be needing this. Wear the bloody clothes of the man you slaughtered to hang out with his friends. Nice. I think the place that I was interested in buying is 50, so. I have no, oh, I'm supposed to go this way, I guess. That'll turn the install this slaughter. Think you'll be Come needing on. this. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Hey, crouching. Thank you. 
about this game at the moment, please. Okay. I think that's all of them. Fine shooting, boys. Now come on, let's untie those hostages. That's pretty penny. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Okay, I just lost, uh, just lost sound, so I'm gonna, give me a second while I try to figure out what's going on here.
Sorry, partner. Yeah, all right. I think I got her uh, working again. So what's going on with that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess we can do a bit more looting, but if we make it to 100, that'll be 97 day after that feel bad about not being able to pull off the non-lethal thing too well but we robbed that guy
Forgive me, friend. Come here, horse. Looks like this is a bit of a winder, but I don't think that main road we should be able to go. You can now help the ranch hands patrol the problems ranch. Alrighty. Good bud. Huh. Good button to pet dog. That's a pretty one. And. Tobias, I guess. I'm not going to skip the tutorial. I guess I won. <laughs> like I missed something there. To, to the, the victor, victor, the, the spoils. spoils. A lot of work for four dollars. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, where'd the dog go? I'll just go over here. Hello, dog.
dog. I think this dog is broken. Or maybe, okay. Oh, this is nice. Just me and my little pooch. Dry in the night. I should have saved. job doggy What is it, boy? I'm supposed to collect the reward. Thank, thank God. God. I think there may be some element to this dog following system that I'm not not fine. Check on B, on B. Alright, seems reasonable. Howdy! Whoa. She's like out in the boonies. Uh no, she's still here. Okay, she's close. 
Yeah. Let's read the map. That's all. There we go. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. Johnson. To, to settle, settle here, here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid those aren't my plans. See, See I, already I already have, have a life. life. Well, well, I have I had one, one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or, or maybe, maybe what you could say is I had two, two and, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, is a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Yes. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call, call me, me Bonnie, Bonnie, you fool. Call, call me Bonnie. Bonnie. Miss, Miss McFarland, I'm married. I'm married. I, have I have a son. son. I, had I had a daughter, but she, but she died. died. Years, Years before, before that, I rode in a gang. gang. We robbed we banks, banks, trains, trains helped people, people ransom. ransom. It was pretty we cool. We killed people we didn't like. like. Bill Williamson, Bill Williamson was in that, that gang. gang. Now, now, if I don't, if I don't capture, capture my former, former brother, brother in arms, arms great, great harm, harm will befall, befall my family. family. No, no, I don't suppose, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, you but I hope, I hope it explains why I wasn't, why I wasn't so, so eager to talk, to talk about it. About it. No, no, I do, I do understand. understand. I, had I had no, no idea. idea. You poor, poor man. man. Even, Even in this, in this new country, memories don't really fade. Father, father was an illiterate Scott, born on a boat, boat in New York. He never, he never saw, saw his homeland, homeland but to hear, to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. kilt. And he and hated, hated the English for what they had, what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. met. People, People don't forget. forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's, My father's debts, debts are still, still terrible. terrible. I, worry I worry every day about his losing the ranch. ranch. It, would it would kill him. My father, My father died when I was eight years old. His, his eyes were... Well, well let's, just let's just say he was blinded in bar fights out of Chicago. My mother, My mother died during childbirth. We're just laying she out all these... She was a prostitute. He was, he was her exposition her. here, aren't we? Well, well I don't, I don't, I don't know, know what he was. was. So I, so I was sent off, sent off to an to orphanage, orphanage and, and ran, ran away and fell in with a gang. Not a word. What a, what a difficult, difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader, leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to, me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a, he was great, a great man, man in a way. But you, but you killed people. Sure. sure. But I've but suffered, suffered for it. it. That's, that's the life I left. I tried to leave. I said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated, uneducated killer. killer. I'm sitting here, sitting here to, to do all I can do, do well. Kill a, Kill a man in cold, cold blood, blood so that another man may do his part to cut, cut crime in an area. And a rich, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back, on the back of these promises. promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, thing Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, Listen, can you, can you help me? Well, well I, I can try. What do you need, honey? No, no. Nothing, nothing so complicated. complicated. I, need I need an extra, extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. sure. Point me in the, right the right direction. Mr. 
Hey, bird. I think I'm in the mood for a little bit of gambling. Let's check that out. Accept your challenge. A little pricey, but got money to burn. Nonsense. Nonsense. Black winged tomatoes gave, gave my boss, boss the ruins. ruins. Uh huh. Out of fact. Check. 
Alright. I, I saw, saw my boss kiss, kiss a man. man. Harley, Harley bears, bears repeat, do it. I don't think that hand's going to be coming in the way I want it to, but I'll play the hand. We ain't getting rich off of this anyway. Whoa. Uh, let's see. Table L2. Okay, that is from here. Gotcha. I don't know if this is any good. But. Well, I got, well, I got paid, paid not to tell a law. Uh-huh. Not, not a fact. Think, Think I'm, I'm going to call. Greetings. Uh, okay. That ain't, that ain't the cards that's how you play them. It's no, it's no fun, fun if you don't, don't have a bet. Somebody's throwing, throwing dust. dust. All right, this is going to take a hand. Well, well I'll, I'll be. be. Doesn't mean somebody ain't going to be able to beat it, but. Ain't, ain't you, you mighty angry. angry. That was fun. Not sure I'm gonna be, be doing it again. But... Oh, let's try for shoes. What is this? Oh, it's the dark. Hello, hello, sir. sir. Ah, ah, a serious, serious customer. customer. Excellent. Why, Why thank, thank you. you. Boy, cheating at poker. Pleasure, Pleasure dealing, dealing with you. Okay, there's a lot of instructions here. Oh, okay, I think I just hit the wrong button. Uh, yeah, I can pick up horseshoes. How good is your throwing horseshoe? Oh, I think I hit X on this one. Okay, R2, really. That way, that's right. Must have been the win. I'm missing something. Come on, Come on. 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 Come on.
Did not throw hard enough. We're going back more to game. Oh. Okay. Eh, heck with it. Uh, I don't mind giving this guy a little bit of money. a little better. But aim a bit. That was a good throw. Just not quite far enough. I don't know why. Oh, I guess it's because he landed in, so. Uh, gotcha. This is not very uh, exciting, I reckon. I care about what he's doing. Okay, it looks like one. What is that? I understand what's going on there. Yeah. There's something I'm not getting. Get out of here. So I don't understand what the, I guess the black marks are to, I don't, I don't at that at all. That's really, like really easy in the way. Yeah. Oh, got it. Oh, I touched the box, so that's progress. I have a feeling I'm going to be paying this man a dollar.
What did you say to me? Fuck. Terribly interesting, though. Gross. I think it's at night, so I, I don't know. We'll do this for now. Right here. Wild horses and passions. Well, well hello, hello, Mr. Marston. How, How are you? you? Fine, Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, fine, thank you. Did, did you, you meet, meet my father? John, John Marston, this is my father, father Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. Please. So, so my, my daughter informs me that you're, you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something, Something like that. that. I'm, I'm grateful, grateful for the hospitality, the hospitality sir. sir. Hey, you, you know, we've lived here, here for 30 years now. now. Came, Came here from the east. east. The land, land had never been settled. settled. For ten, ten years, we fought the Indians. Tough, tough men. men. And we, and we had, had outlaws. And we had, had drought. drought. And we had smallpox. smallpox terrible, terrible winters. Cholera. A very more white children, children than I raised. Sorry, Sorry to hear that, sir. I've, I've seen, seen strong, strong men wither and die under, die under that unforgiving sun. sun. That, that whole herd of cattle, cattle take, take sick and die. die. But, but I've, I've never, never once got out of my life here. No, no sir. When I hear, I hear about this so-called so federal government sending out agents, agents to covertly, covertly murder, murder and control, control people, people, then I start to worry. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, all right. Williamson, Williamson is, is a menace. menace. And men, men like him are the plague. But isn't, but isn't a government, government agent the worst menace? menace? And all, and all that symbolizes to me. You may, you may be right, right sir. sir. Well, you're, you're a brave, brave man. man. You're, you're always going to be welcome, welcome here. But you, you tell, tell your friends out east, out east that we don't, don't want to live like, like that out here. here. Sneaking, Sneaking around and spying and secret, secret missions. Uh -huh. Preposterous. Trust, Trust me, sir. I agree, I agree with you. you. Good. Good. <laughs> well, we, we won't insult you any further. Any further. Come on, Come on Bonnie. Bonnie, we, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, Marston do you, you want to join us? It's Daddy's, Daddy's favorite, favorite pastime. Apart, apart from political discourse, that is. What, what is? Breaking, breaking in horses. horses. Come, on. Come on. I hear, I hear you're a pretty, pretty decent rider. 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 For a city dweller, that is. I don't know who you heard <laughs> that from. Mr. Marston. Right. Now, now you, you got, got some rope, rope on your belt. belt. Let's, Let's see if we, we can't, can't wrangle, wrangle some horses. horses. Okay, I'm going to take a real quick break to get some food prepped. Uh, so, and a few potatoes.
interesting theories, theories on, on what the government's, government's doing, doing, sir. Ain't theories, Miss Marston. I saw, I saw the telegram Marshall, Marshall got from Blackwater. Ain't, ain't exactly a state, state secret, is it? Well, is it wrong? I, I saw those, those men from the train. The government, government can go, go to hell, if you ask me. Those, those sons, sons of bitches are still a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. right. Now, I don't, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power is like a drink. The more, the more you have, the more you want. There's, There's few men, men who can handle it. There's, There's certain things, things in this country, country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Hashtag still with her. Go! 
been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's, Let's go, go, Mr. Marston. We, we can really do with those horses. horses.
We're going in more or less. Come on, come on. Come on. having that is like the, the speed of Looks like there's a path that leads down, so north a bit and then might be better to start pushing. Yeah. yeah. Uh so here's a different map. Like I think two reliable cars. Oh wait, no, there's an arrow.
feel like there was a lesson that in the middle section. We got, we got some, some fine, fine horses. horses. You know, why don't you, why don't you keep, keep that stallion as your own? As, as a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's, He's a, a fine, fine animal. animal. Yeah, I got a horse. Nice. Be a good time to break camp because I'm supposed to have done that a little while ago. Uh, since I've saved anyhow. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of things, making progress. Wow, that looks unpleasant. That's a bad doggo right there. And the chicken. Well, well thank, thank you, Amos, Amos but it's the herd I'm worried about. And they know they're scattered, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. beyond. The, the weather is coming in real fast. fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm, storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? No, 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 no miss. If the, if the men get caught out in that storm, storm they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die. Man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Hit my horse. Oh, my stallion. Did I lose my stallion? That's. That is some bullshit. I don't like that very much. Good. Now, 
I have horses too. I want to catch that stallion. I don't want to. Okay, so it looks like I have to hitch it. Go ahead and do that. That looks fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, wasn't there like a bounty on there? Is there any way? Let's see, how far back can we go? Yeah, I ain't going that far back, that's for sure. So, are you gonna whip out some crime or are we just gonna hang out? Or something. Show me where he Oh, 
This guy's just bugged out.
Alright, that wasn't quite so bad. I was expecting more coming. Yep. God hates worse uh, than that So I think I'm supposed to just like try to push them to the right. The idea. At least that's what it feels. Like. Kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Pacing issue. I, I think I'm getting too far ahead of you.
We got a runner. Up, pricey. Take, take me to Armadillo. Armadillo. Right, I got my spare. And I'm kind of curious to see if anything pops up. In a game or vent or whatever. Just the destination, or yeah, I reckon it is. All right, relax, enjoy the ride. Fast travel. I don't think I've ever seen a travel system like that.
I'll be honest, that was a good mystery. Hello, stranger. Oh, I've, I've been, been waiting, waiting for you. Beard. Hello, Hello John. 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 John Marston. Marston. That's my name. Cool. Do I, Do know, I know you? I, I hope so. so. I seem, I seem to, know to know you. I'm noticing that. You're pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Are you? Do you remember, remember Hattie, Hattie McCourt's, McCourt's face? face? No. Who? Who? She was, she was a girl Dutch, Dutch Vanderlyn shot, shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. back. Same, Same one you got shot, shot on. Pretty yeah. girl. Until, Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not, Not really. Then why, then why would you remember me, friend? friend? You've, You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your, What's your game, friend? I don't, I don't have a game, game John. John. Listen, Listen, sometimes, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had, had better, better guidance. A friend, friend of mine is drunk, drunk as a skunk, skunk in, the in the saloon on Thieves Landing. Landing. I, I think he's, he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see, see if you can advise him how best to proceed. What do, what do you think, think I, I am? am? I know, I know what, what you are, John. John. Just, just if you've got, got the time, time friend. friend. Don't, Don't tell me you've gone, gone soft in your old age. age. Off you, you go, go now. now. You'll, You'll see, see me again. again. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay, that was a mistake. I get a lot more careful about my saves. But we've learned a valuable lesson about guns on strangers. Okay, this doesn't so hopefully he's still there.
All right. Uh, let's see. Thanks. That's pretty close, right? Oh, okay. No. No. All right, back to it. Up your camp, camp spell? spell? That'd, That'd be, be my pleasure. pleasure. Man, Man needs, needs a break, break from this desiccated land. land. Thank, Thank you, you, mister. Mm -hmm. Say, what's, what's that, that stick you got, you got there? there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen, seen a dowsing rod before, before mister? Never, never seen, seen a man summon the water up from, from the bare earth? earth? Uh, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Marston. Ah! No. no. Can't, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. Throw it that lake over there. Oh, there ain't, there ain't nothing, nothing wrong with Lake Don, Don Julio. Julio. Nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with it, but we, we lack, lack the fancy irrigation, irrigation equipment you folks have back east. east so. Man, Man needs, needs a wellspring on his proper top ranch here. Makes, Makes sense. sense. Yeah. Why, you, Why, you know, know, just last week, I was, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. house. I, think I think I may have found something, but old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on us. Black, Black funny ground, ground strange men with sticks. sticks. They, they sure, sure do. do. Damn fools. Bet, Bet you don't even know how much water's running underneath, underneath his prop top. top. You want me, you want me to tell him? <laughs> you know, you know what? what? Yeah, you ain't that stupid, stupid mister. Not gonna, gonna tell. I'll tell, tell you what. Why don't, why don't you go get the old man to sell us his prop top for a small pittance, and I can find a source of water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. All right, then. <laughs> this seems like a bad idea. I'm going to have a kind of low, but... So, I think that's probably something to do. I'm going to be calling it here. Yeah, I see that. So, let's... But we want to make sure we can save it, right? Let's go! Oh yeah, so I can buy that place and then I can pop a save on it. Top hat, I don't 
Okay, we're interested. Hello. Hello. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I think that's uh, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, as always, thank you to everybody who tuned in. I appreciate it. And I will be back tomorrow with uh, more of this. Uh, it's been interesting. It's a little, little janky. But I can definitely see the potential for greatness here. But we will uh, continue to play through tomorrow. So have a good one, everybody. Bye.